Hello, good morning, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This video is about Angular's DOM manipulation. So we have an experiment here. We have a car, and then we have a wheel, and then we have a screw. How we are structuring this is we have a car here, and then we have a wheel, and then the wheel here have a screw. Right, so we want to so the car is imported to the component, and then the car here have a wheel, and then the wheel have a screw. So this is the um, nested components. Now we want to um, display this. This one here. Um, say this is a um, function function or maybe a code yeah maybe a code and that code is this CX I'll name the CX and then here CX is a string then the string is button like that. And then you say here click one. And then another button would be click two. Okay. So it's gonna be here and then in the up car here. We are going to create an input and then the input is code. This is a string. Right? And then this string in the car component will then get passed to wheel. So this is code. And then this is code here. So the wheel will receive this code. So this one here is input code. Then this is a string. And then the wheel will pass this to the screw. Alright, so yeah, the input is like that. And then here, the input is like that. And then this, this is the code. And then the screw, the screw here will be like that. And then the code here will be here. Okay, so. See how does it look like CX? Uh, why is it just CX? Because this is the code app code CX it's supposed to be an input. Okay, so button button. Now we want to put this in a and an inner HTML code in there. So that is CX, CX. Um, so why is it not a, a button now? Why is it stripping? Is it getting stripped? Alright, click, click. So we want to put it as a um, a trusted HTML. So, um, okay, hold on. Okay, so um, in the app component, we want to implement on it or maybe no maybe we just want to implement the constructor 
And then uh, let's put here the sanitizer. Sanitized. Dom sanitizer. And then um, this that CX is equals to this that sanitizer bypass security trust HTML. Then let's see this. We'll put this here like that. And then this is not a string anymore. This is going to be a um, any. What is going to return? Save HTML. All right, save HTML. Or maybe just put any for now. Then this one here is not a string anymore. This is any. This one here is any. This one here is any as well. And this one here, what's this? Uh, what's that? Um, CX. Um, so why is it not working? This is any, this is any. And by code since it's a web car, huh? Car input. What? What are you talking about? Why is it that you don't have a? This is a code. That's an input. CX. CX from here, any. What? And to the sound, to smoke and was the wind. Here's a year's her own singer's enterprise. Why? What's going on? Into this island, tied around. Can't bind to code since it isn't a known property of app. Why? Why do you think that it's not a known property? It's here. A long, long time ago. Who knows, Nami? We'll never lose control of face to face. Hey, what's going on? What's going on with a man who sold the world? Ah, uh, damn. 
Okay, so it's running back again. Uh, way pads into its town. Smoke and rise away. I long as it's dead. Years and years are old. As it is. Okay, so we have it trusted. Now we have click one, click two. Now we want to um, add a listener here in our in our main app. So we want to use our our private renderer render render to then we will implement the after view init and then put that there and then here um, we want to get access to our app car view child so this one we will call this car and then put here car read element ref car is going to be an element ref and find car Okay, so we now have access to our car. So if this, that car, we will get the element, our car element, car element. Instead of a component, this is going to be the, the car element. And then we will um we want to get a hold of the this one here um first is the app car and then app wheel and then app screw maybe we go straight to app screw can we do that cons screw element equals uh, car element dot query selector all then app screw then uh, elements maybe elements app screws then for each App screws. So here I have screws. A screw. That's a, just a screw. And that is going to be any. So the screw, we want to get the app screw we want to get the dev and its button so from the screw you want to query selector dev and then uh, the buttons in the dev const dev screw and then from the dev screw With the query selector button, get. I think that it's going to be with query selector all maybe. Const buttons. Const buttons, and then. 
Um, so that is the buttons that for each button and then the button here will be any and then the button here um, if button no it's always it's always present I guess um, we're going to use the this renderer the listen to the button um, for a click and then event then um, we will want to console that log event that target all right maybe just maybe just event first okay so let's go all right so we will go to console uh, cannot read properties of undefined for each for each how many for each yeah all right so let's click oh we have a click all right so we have a target here we have the button and then we will want to put it on a data set so we want to have a data here and then put a uh, um, id it goes to um, click one and then here uh click to so so that um, we will um, check the target and then data set and then id and that is going to give us click one and click two if we click here click one then click two so that's it so this is a um uh, nested components uh, we are passing string from the main component we are passing a string uh, in a HTML and then yeah we want to maybe add a style can we add a style here like we want to make the button red how can we do that uh, I think that deserves a separate um, separate video or maybe we can try or uh, let's try here if it will work button so maybe if we have a class here uh, btx btnx and this one here okay so let's just try that btnx see here dot btnx background color background is red will it work no so if it's uh how do you call it like that host i'm not sure uh yeah no yeah i still have to research this this deserves a different video so that's it guys the manipulation is good you don't have to you don't have to be a expert to do some dumb manipulation passing a string of HTML and listening for the event we can dynamically create an, a template here then just listen for activities of that HTML or maybe we can yeah maybe we can style it here um button dot how do we style this in javascript oh yeah so we, we can actually just style this from here like for example button that style that color is um for example here we want to color this 
uh, green and uh, maybe the I think the background color background color is it like that uh, is uh, for example um, like a yellow maybe uh, let's see all right so we can style it and then we can click it so that's it uh, we uh, we can do everything we want Tap. all right watch up don't forget to like and subscribe